Hello, and here I am with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review. And the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today's one is on the Twin Pod Cloud Car from 2002 and the T-16 Skyhopper from 2003. So on the front of each booklet, see the picture of the set that there is, and the set number, name, and whatnot. So, with Twin Pot Cloud Car, which on the back is at for Final Duel 1 and 2 and Jedi Defense 1 and 2. Add for the original TIE Fighter Millennium Falcon and the Emperor Shuttle, of course, from that time. And then the last building stops. And for T 16 Skyhawk World, which with the 2003 or two and three changes to it. Add for the LEGO Star Wars website from back then. Add for the mini sets that they did at the time. Add for the TIE Bomber set that I previously reviewed for Throwback Thursday. And then the last steps. So for the only mini they included with Twin Paw Cloud Car, of which is Lobot, of course, who of which was never before remade until with the Betrayal on Cloud City set in uh, 2018. So of course, kind of out of date for this one. But besides that, the torso print of which does look good and holding a walkie-talkie piece there. But also has, or one of the first with back head prints of which, kind of like with Zam Wessel, also from this time. Uh, and I think with the one that was in the recent Cloud City set, or Betrayal at Cloud City set, kind of sort of went, went all around. So the, yeah. At least, nice to have. If, and good that he came back in that set. And next up is the T-16 Skyhopper Pilot. Who of which they haven't redone until 2016. No, no, 2015, and this year again in the uh, in a microfighter set, of course. But besides that, the torso print, uh, kind of all right, to which, and then nothing from the back of which, and the helmet of which the same as most X-wing pilot ones, but all plain red. And as for that, uh, that face print of which. Just about the same as from the Scout Trooper uh, mini things, of which, which is without the helmet put over it. But at least still usable to this day. And that's about it. With both mini things. So, first for the builds is the Twin Pod Cloud Car itself. Of which, simple and kind of cool for that. So as for some parts, you can see it has the like round or curvy slopes on both sides, and not sure why it is, but why there's the brown jagged slopes in the centers. There's even and but like since they redid it, it's just curved slopes and plates on that version. Well, that came in Betrayal at Cloud City. Anyways, but also, as for the some of the main features is that this door folds to the sides and the top part of it flips open and just about enough space. Oh, and also a little control panel kind of hidden there and then just enough space to fit your Lobot mini fig onto it. And then as for the center hub area, which has some good vent pieces to it, and it's the old style of hinge that folds up and enough space to put something on it, even though it's kind of blocked off by a plate, of course. But as for the back, is just rounded sloping, but instead of having some blue pieces in it to Maybe the, be the thrusters. But luckily on that version it had a couple stud shooters off to the sides. And yeah. 
And next up is the T-16 Skyhawk, part of which, which was never before redone until 2015, and very recently again in as a microfighter, kind of odd. But as for some areas of it, the, a few simple plates and bricks with the lamps, or old-time castle lamps, but used as a, a shooter to it but used as a black yeah. But also kind of the same with these wings with that, but with another rod piece, but it's a Fabuland uh, rod piece that they probably stopped using at this time. And as for this upper area, is that the cockpit, which has one of the plates used in the Wilds Junkyard set from 2001, and you can lift it up since it's on a ratchet joint and enough space to fit your uh, pilot fig onto but also somewhat hidden in this compartment of which is one of the old style blasters and a pair of the viewing goggles of course and you can rotate down like so and a call also has some jagged slope pieces that are exclusive to this set. Go for this and this. Although the bottom one I kinda see usable for mocking and yeah. And but from the back is kind of plain vacant, but just a little trans red dish to like give it the boots, of course. But as for the upper area, which is which is a couple of the like uh, larger slopes and a few one by four bricks of stacked above. But one that does have some good prints to it, kind of similar to the 2015 version. And, and not much else to say, but at least it's a good small build for it. In 2015, one uh, may have been a little better, but what can I say? At least they did their best with what they had at the time. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So overall, I think these are which uh, a pair of good sets for 2002 and 3. At least ones that were never before redone until in recent times, even though Cloud Car uh, came with Betrayal at Cloud City in 2018, of course. But I'm not sure why they haven't decided to release it by itself, but whatever. And if you like, and also as for Skyhawk, for it's also kind of alright. Or the remake may have done a little better with a few minifig selection, but what? Yeah. <coughs> and if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, well, go ahead and get them. Like eBay BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.